Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Excel Essentials series with Data Ratify. In today's video, we're going to cover number formatting. Formatting your numbers correctly, whether they are plain numbers, currency, percentages, or dates, can make your spreadsheets much easier to read and understand. We will walk through how to apply the appropriate formats for these different types of data. First, let's start with basic number formatting. By default, Excel treats numbers as plain values, but you can format them to improve clarity. If you have a number like 1, 2, 3, 4, Excel might display it simply as 1, 2, 3, 4, or with commas separating thousands or you may want to adjust the number of decimal places you can format the number by selecting the range of cells or the cell then you go to the home tab and in the number group you'll find options like increase or decrease decimal or uh, put insert the comma so in this case let's click on the f column Ensure we're in the home tab and go to the number group. This comma here helps you to um, add uh, a command, a thousand separator, and also in some cases, uh, the decimal places. So we can decide to um, increase or decrease, you know, to increase or to decrease the number of decimal places that we want. This is a faster way to do it. Excel also allows you to format negative numbers in a few different ways. For example, you can show negative numbers in red or with parentheses. Let us say that, um, that for example, um, let's give this a red. So let's format this and give this a minus. Uh, let's give this 20,000 a minus as well. Uh, this is 75 also is a minus, okay? And we want to format it so that the minus uh, values, the negative values are easy to um, identify. So again, we click on, on the cell, okay? We go to home and we click on the number format, okay? So if more number formats, we go to number. You can, this is another opportunity to either reduce or increase the number of um, decimal places. Let's work with two. We have already indicated that we want to use the comma, uh, which is a thousand separator. And then we say, oh, we want negative numbers to have a minus. And we say, okay. Okay, so you can easily see, see this. Let's move to um, currency formatting. Okay, this is useful when you're working with financial data, such as sales figures, costs, or budgets. To format numbers as currencies, select the cells containing the values that you want to change. So let us see, we're going to use um, cells F2 to F8, for example. Um, so we highlight those cells. Again, we go to the Home tab and Number. Come down to More, uh, more Number Formats. And then we click on Currency. Here you can choose whatever... Um, Select whatever currency that you're working with. You see, we're working with the Naira. So we want to use the Naira. And then we say, okay. okay. That's another way to change the currency um, quickly. Um, if you also click on the num more number formats and you come down to currency, here you can also specify um, exactly the type of currency you want again you want the naira again okay and please always ensure that the number is aligned to the the numbers are aligned to the right let's let's check this again and ensure that the numbers are aligned to the right at all times we want the number aligned Numbers and then to the right for easy read. Okay. Exactly. Um, let's also ensure that the minus is taken into consideration. Okay. 
we want this cell to show read when there's a negative so we ensure that the negative is in red okay. so all the all the all the values are aligned to the right with the currency on the left okay. again um, like we highlighted if you need to use a different currency symbol just go to more number formats ensure that by clicking that arrow ensure that you're in currency and you can select whatever currency it is that you want to work with okay. now let's look at percentage formatting this is commonly used when you're working with data like growth rates discounts or proportions to format a number as a percentage you select the cell with the number um, and then you go to the home tab again in the number group all you need to now click on is percentage style is the percentage style button. This will automatically multiply the value by 100 and add a percent sign. So let us say that we have um, 5%, 0 0.05, we have 10%, uh, we have 12%, 0 0.20%, 2%, uh, something larger. 30%, 60%, okay? So just highlight the cells that you're working with. If you want to highlight specific cells or you want to highlight the entire cell, that's good. Click on uh, more formats, come down to percentage. We want our percentages to be one decimal place. And then you see, okay, automatically it converts it by multiplying the number by 100 and also adding the percent sign with the percent sign being on the right. So we see our percentages as 5% down you know, to 60%. Um, again, you can, like you saw, we could adjust the number of decimal places, okay, by using the, um, either using the, the button that was highlighted or you select um, the um, increase or decrease from the number group here. Finally, let's talk about date and time formatting. When you're working with dates and time in Excel, it's important to ensure they appear in the correct format to avoid confusion. Excel gives you many options for formatting dates, whether it's the month, day, year, or the date, month, year option, or any other variation. To change date format, you can go ahead and uh, work from home down to a number for more number formats. But another way, a faster way to do it is to select either your cell or the group of cells you are working with, you know, here, let's take the whole column and then we right click and we say format cells. And then we go down to dates and then you can select whatever, um, you know, option you want or that works with um, whatever format that you choose um, or that makes your data uh, more readable. Similarly, if you're working with time, Excel allows you to format cells to display hours, minutes and seconds. Again, you can either go through the long way, home, number, group, and then you say more formats or you select from here, or you just right click as we can as we did before, and then you select time, and then you can see um, the different options that are available um, on that time. Now that you know the basics of number formatting in Excel, I encourage you to try these features out on your own uh, using your own data. Whether you're working with numbers, currency, percentages, or dates, formatting can make a big difference in how your data is understood. That's all for today's video on number formatting in Excel. I hope these tips help you present your data in a more organized and professional way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who might benefit. See you in the next video.